it's Friday. Most people like Fridays. So not about you. Me, it's just I'm getting ready to be my, you know, on the weekend work, but there's a different feel. We all kind of enjoy that slow down feel. So I'm reading from the letter to Hebrews, chapter 13. Let brotherly love continue. Do not neglect hospitality, for through it some have unknowingly entertained angels. The word of the Lord. We'll leave it at that. Hospitality. Making people feel welcome. Years ago, I went up to Montreal, Canada. Down in a... I read in the paper on Saturday morning, they had like a religious section, a little story about re religious issues. And they wrote about this priest in Montreal, the good God of the streets, Father John. And even his late years of life, I think he was like 60 years old, close to he began, left the parish ministry and began going out to the streets where kids were living on the street. He had like a, not a van, but those traveling motor, motor homes, something like that. He had converted in that. He would go and drive and stop and he would have hot dogs to give and conversation, talk to him. That's how it started, just go on the streets, being friends, and then gradually be purchase a building and get support. And, and now he had a place where they lived, but they also had a place with a drop-in center and they, would, they can eat. And so I was very curious. That, 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 kind of, that work always attracted me, curious about it. So I wrote to him. He said, sure, come on up. So I got to go to Canada, see Montreal a bit, but also experience his work. And I was there. It was an evening meal. And, and the kids came, young kids. And then one kid had a big old snake around his neck, whatever. Everybody was welcome. And there was food. And luckily I had this inspiration when they came not to say, hey, oh, you know, help yourself, there's a food. But uh, I guess inspired by him or just sensed the right thing to do was get up and get the food and, and have them sit and, and serve them. It's, it's, like, it's a little thing. But I remember Father commented, he told me about that. He goes, I really appreciate you, you know, giving, you know, you serving them. I probably would normally not have done it. I don't know what made me do at that time. Maybe because I was in that atmosphere and just felt that's... You breathe in the atmosphere, little things like that. To be hospital, hospitable. And so we try to, at our church, we all have different personalities, things in our mind, things we're going through, and we're not always at our best. It's, it's introvert, extrovert. I'm, a, I'm an introvert, so it's not always that easy. I get, I have social anxiety, you know, but I work on it. So I don't, I'm not saying holding myself as a person to model, please, but all of us. Go out of our way, because you never know, you know, who you will be serving, who you're treating. In fact, see, everybody as Christ or as that angel, be kind, be hospitable. God bless you.